Hello, and welcome to LaSalle University's virtual tour. I'm Deron Jennings, a senior majoring in both finance and management and leadership, and I'm here in beautiful Founders Hall. Founders Hall opened in 2016 and is our newest academic building on campus. It's also home to our School of Business, which is accredited by the Association to Advanced Collegiate Schools of Business. Only 5% of schools are prestigious enough to receive the designation, and we're very proud that LaSalle is among them. In a School of Business, we have various majors from accounting to marketing and international business, as well as our distinctive four-year BS, MBA in accounting, business scholars, and business leadership fellows programs. On the first floor of the building, we have the John Fry's Class of 66 Trading Room, a fully equipped Bloomberg Lab, one of the many experiential learning spaces and founders. Directly across from the trading room is our student-run Saxby's Cafe. Each semester, a new student cafe executive officer is chosen to run the branch that is completely staffed by their peers. The cafe is one of our dining options here on campus where students can grab a quick bite and take it with them to the class or to their room. Also on this floor, you'll find the Founders Auditorium, breakout study spaces, and of course, our Career Center. Our Career Center offers career development services like resume review, job fairs, and employer meet and greets for current explorers and alumni. On the upper floors of the building, we have classrooms, offices for the School of Business, including the Dean's Office, and other interactive labs like the Center for Sales Excellence, where students can gain their Salesforce certification. The Center for Entrepreneurship hosts the Open Minds Innovation Challenge every year, which is an opportunity for students to learn the innovation process and come up with creative solutions to complex problems. It also allows students to support and consult for small businesses through the Business Engagement Center. Hi guys, I'm Renata and I am a junior nursing major. This is St. Benilde Tower. LaSalle School of Nursing and Health Sciences, including our Communication Sciences and Disorders, Public Health, Nutrition, and Nursing programs are housed in Benilde. We also have accelerated master's programs like our five-year Communication Sciences and Disorders, five-year Nutrition, and five-year Public Health master's degree programs. For most of our majors here at LaSalle, we have accompanying academic clubs and activities to get involved in. For instance, I'm a nursing major and a member of the Student Nurses Association of Pennsylvania, or SNAP. St. Benil Tower was formerly a part of Germantown Hospital and currently serves as an academic building and clinical site for our students. Our nursing students start their nursing clinical as early as the fall of their sophomore year, giving them a head start on gaining experience. Scattered throughout the building are state-of-the-art labs like the Nutrition Lab on the lower level and the Interprofessional Simulation Center, or Sim Lab, on the third floor. Students use our four lifelike simulators that can mimic human functions to learn what interacting with a real patient is like. You'll notice the halls in St. Benild are lined with historic artifacts. These items are a part of the Museum of Nursing History that came to LaSalle in 2013. Among the collection of nursing relics are framed letters from nursing great Florence Nightingale and a replica of her dress, student ledgers from the turn of the century, and a World War I nursing diary. Additionally, in the building, you'll find student health services, which is staffed by doctors and nurse practitioners to provide for all our student health care needs. Hi, I'm Bryce, an admissions counselor and a graduate student in the Strategic Communications program. And we're here at Blue and Gold Dining Commons, also known as the B&G. The B&G is our main cafeteria, located right in the heart of the North Residence Halls. Students with a qualifying meal plan can swipe to enter, and those without a meal plan can pay their way towards this all-you-can-eat dining experience. The dining services team works hard to ensure tasty, nutritious meals are readily available for all our students. And of course, we have specialty options for students with food sensitivities or restrictions. LaSalle Dining is our top employer of LaSalle students, and work schedules are flexible. Our other dining options are the LaSalle Union Food Court, Treetops Cafe down on South Campus, and a number of grab-and-go food options located around campus, including Starbucks and our Pod Mini Market that serve snacks and healthy-to-go meals. Hey 
Hey everyone, I'm Elizabeth Hallinan, a senior psychology major, and today I'm going to take you through the North Residence Halls. The North Halls are comprised of eight total residence halls, two of which I'll show you today. To enter your residence, you must swipe in with your LaSalle ID and guests need to register at the LaSalle security desk to receive a guest pass. We take security seriously here at LaSalle with 24-7 on-site security and hundreds of closed circuit television security cameras that feed to our security office. Between the halls, there are a few courtyards for students to hang out, play games, or study. We are here today in St. Catharines Hall, one of our freshman residences on campus. Freshman rooms are traditional style with one or two students per room. St. Catharines is also home to many of our living learning communities or LLCs. These are cohorts of students who choose to live with others who share their interests and passions. Our six LLCs include cultural exploration and diversity, wellness and mindful living, Signum Fide, our service-based LLC, creative and performing arts, our eSports LLC with a full gaming lounge, and the Animal Advocacy and Dog Friendly Community LLC. The Animal Advocacy LLC is in St. George, our Dog Friendly Residence Hall. Any student can apply to bring a registered dog to live with them on campus, and the building is equipped with an outdoor dog run and dog washing station to make sure our furriest explorers are clean and healthy. Just ask our pup Scott Angus. No matter which residence you live in, there will be plenty of programming and opportunities to get to know your community of classmates and peers. Thanks for joining me here at North Halls. Hi everyone, my name is Emily Davas. I'm a part of the class of 2021 and I'm an economics and international relations dual major. Today we're here at the Connolly Library. Our library was built back in 1988, but was renovated in 2019 to add state-of-the-art technology and learning spaces. The library provides students with access to more than 400,000 books and 750,000 online resources. The new renovations include the learning commons on the first floor where I'm standing right now and an updated computer lab on the lower level. Also on the lower level are the university archives which hold documents, photographs, videos and digital materials dating from LaSalle's founding in 1863 to today. All students are welcome to visit the archives to view materials or conduct primary research. The learning commons was designed to provide students with collaborative workspaces. It has breakout rooms, whiteboards, and presentation rooms to meet all kinds of study needs. The top floors of the library have a more traditional feel with stacks of books and quiet study spaces. On the second floor, you'll find the rare books and special collections room filled with rare and beautiful editions of the Christian Bible, the largest collection in the world of literary and creative works concerning the Vietnam War, a unique academic connection of the life and works of Bob Dylan, and more. In addition to providing resources and services to our current students, our library is open to alumni and the neighboring community. Through the library, LaSalle students offer tutoring and academic support to middle and high school students throughout the neighborhood. Hi guys, I'm Naeem Brown, an admission counselor and a graduate student in the Strategic Communications program, and this is the Handsome Quad. The choir is the heart of campus, and from it you can see many of our academic and administrative buildings. A few fun facts about LaSalle, our average class size is 22 students, and we have a 12 to 1 student ratio. There are more than 3,000 undergraduate students that attend LaSalle studying more than 40 majors. Additionally, throughout the quad, you'll see a few different symbols of our LaSallean Catholic heritage. Next to the choir, you'll see College Hall, one of our academic buildings here on campus. Here, you'll also find the Religion Department and the Honors Programs. LaSalle University's Honors Program was founded in 1960 and is considered to be a national model for collegiate honors programs. The spirit of our honors program is collaborative and the heart of the program is the triple. This is a group of linked courses in literature, history, and philosophy taken by all first year students over two semesters. Behind me is the Lawrence Administration Center where you can find our admission office, the financial aid office, and the Center for Academic Achievement. LaSalle University is a Catholic university founded in 1863 by the Brothers of the Christian Schools. This teaching order, founded by St. John Baptist de La Salle, believes that education is a right for all and runs more than a thousand educational institutions worldwide. Right now, we're standing in the de La Salle Chapel, 
located on the lower level of College Hall. Here we host daily Masses and weekend Masses, where students can participate as Eucharistic ministers, lectors, and members of our chapel choir. Though we are a Catholic institution, we offer all kinds of ways for students to celebrate their faith, no matter what it might be, including providing our interfaith prayer room, which is open to all students. This space is also the home to University Ministry and Service, which oversees campus ministry and community service groups like FOCUS, Fellowship of Community and University Service, and LIV, LaSallean Immersion Volunteer Experiences, to name a few. Through these groups, LaSalle students, faculty, and staff give back to our community through short-term and long-term service opportunities here and abroad. Hello, I'm Nick Paleo, a senior communications major, and welcome to Holroyd Hall, home of the Hugh and Nancy Devlin Center for Science and Technology. Holroyd Hall is an academic building for students in the School of Arts and Sciences, including majors such as Digital Arts, Mathematics, Biology, and Integrated Science, Business, and Technology. Inside Holroyd, you'll find many of our science labs, and the walls are lined with scientific collections. There are also cool spaces for students to discover and innovate, like our in-house recording studio and green roof. You'll also find the Dean's Office for the School of Arts and Sciences and small lecture halls where students take their classes. This is Heyman Hall, another academic building here on campus. Throughout the building, you'll find classrooms and academic offices, as well as the IT help desk on the second floor for all your student technology questions and needs. Heyman Hall houses our IT department, BUSCA, Bilingual Undergraduate Studies for Collegiate Advancement, Academic Discovery Program, and is home to many academic departments, including American Studies, English, Education, Economics, History, Art History, International Relations, Politics, Philosophy, and Economics, Political Science, Social Work, Sociology, and Criminal Justice. But the hidden gem of Heyman is on the lower level at the LaSalle University Art Museum. LaSalle is the only university in Philadelphia with a permanent display of paintings, drawings, and sculptures from the Renaissance to the present. The Art Museum opened its doors in 1976 as a place for LaSalle students as well as for the communities in the surrounding areas to experience art in an intimate setting. Academic departments often host lectures and events within the rooms of the museum and students may visit at any time during museum hours. Hi everyone, my name is Isabel. I'm a Communication Sciences and Disorders major and a psych minor, and we're here in the LaSalle Union Building, one of the busiest buildings on campus. The first floor houses the Union Food Court that's filled with a grab-and-go market and several different restaurants, including Starbucks and Subway. The Union Building also serves as a main hub for student life. Some clubs I'm personally involved in on campus are Student Government and the American Sign Language Club. There are two commuter student lounges for commuter students to rest or study between classes and multiple locations for students to eat and hang out. The Union is also home to Late Night LaSalle, which provides quality late night entertainment and programming on campus, typically on Friday and Saturday nights. In the Union lobby next to Starbucks, you'll find the Dan Rodden Theater, where many student organizations like our theater group, The Mask, host events, shows, and activities as well as a full-service Truemark Financial branch where students can open accounts and meet all of their banking needs. Right outside the building is the Union Patio, where students can relax or attend events like our annual poster sale or a farmer's market. Also inside this building, you'll find the Department of Student Affairs and Enrollment on the first floor, Residence Life on the second floor, and the Campus Activity Center on the third floor. That means that if you have any questions about student life at LaSalle, the Union is where you want to be. We're down on South Campus. South Campus is just a short walk or shuttle ride away from main campus. On your way down, you'll pass a few of our athletic fields like McCarthy Stadium and Hank DeVinson Field. Right now, we're inside the Communications Center where you'll find the Communication Department, a student lounge, and production labs. I'm currently standing on the set of the LaSalle TV station, which reaches over 350,000 homes in the Philadelphia area and airs shows that have been completely written, filmed, and produced by students, like Backstage Pass, our entertainment show, 
or Sports Talk Philadelphia, which covers anything and everything having to do with Philly sports. I'm in my third year producing and anchoring our news programming, LTV News, which covers everything from campus events to the issues affecting our country and our world. If you're not in the Philadelphia area, you can catch us online through our LaSalle TV Philly YouTube page. Also on South Campus, you'll find St. Newman and St. Basil Court Residence Halls, Treetops Cafe, and the Independence Blue Cross Fitness Center. The Fitness Center is available to all students, faculty, and staff. Just swipe your LaSalle ID and you're good to go. Thanks for joining us on the virtual tour. I hope you enjoyed your journey through LaSalle University.